Hello and welcome to the Philippines. What does it cost to live in the Philippines? Uh, of course, that uh, depends upon your lifestyle and where you're living, but I'm going to go over my costs here in Cebu City. This 25,000 pesos uh, per month includes uh, cable television and electric up to 2,500 pesos per month. So let me take those out. I keep my electric bill pretty close to that 2,500 pesos per uh, that I'm allowed at $50, so subtract that and subtract the $9.99 for the cable television. Come to rent at 21501 or 430 US dollars. That is probably about half of what I would be spending in the US uh, in places that I would want to live. Depending upon uh, how large a place you have and how cool you like it, how much you run your air conditioning, uh, your uh, your uh, electric bill could be much, much higher, depending on where you live as well. For instance, over on Camotes Islands, part of the Cebu Island chain, uh, I think everything over there still runs on a diesel generator. And uh, electric rates over there uh, can be very, very high, 6,000, 10,000, depending upon your space there again and, and how long you use it. Um, I probably like it a little bit warmer than the average person, so... I use mine less. A lot of people run theirs at night. I run mine two to three hours before I go to bed. And then I just have a fan blowing in the evening. So I use less than the average person. My food costs are my next biggest expense. And four-month average uh, came out to 15,216 pesos uh, or 304 U.S. dollars. And now I could eat a lot cheaper. And I have learned to... Uh, eat cheaper, but uh, uh, November and December particularly, I ate out a lot more, and uh, I generally, in the past, have, have run uh, around 280 uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, but anyway, I eat healthy. I buy black rice, which is about a little over two times the price of most white rice. Uh, still, it doesn't add up to that much over time because I don't eat that much rice. Uh, fat cow if you want a, want a good burger they put out a, one of the places uh, many places put out a good burger when I go to, out to eat I don't buy the 100 peso meals uh, you can do that you can buy buy meals at Jolly Bee and McDonald's and different places uh, for less than 100 pesos $2 I don't do that uh, this is a uh, I, I eat what I like generally, so it doesn't work into a tight budget at all. You can do much better than me. Some of you will spend much more than I do. My bottled water, five gallons, cost me 15 pesos uh, per bottle, and uh, so about $1.50, 75 pesos a month or $1.50. My internet costs me uh, a little bit more than what it should uh, at the present time. I'm unable to get a DSL line because Globe does not have the infrastructure apparently to handle additional lines, they tell me. Uh, so I use a couple of pocket Wi-Fi type units, and then I load my phone also so that I have data as I travel. The problem with these 30-day uh, plans that they offer, prepaid plans, is they're, they're 1,000 pesos basically, and they cap you at uh, eight, about 800 uh, megabytes a day. Now, Smart um, will shut you off after 800 megabytes. Globe will just cut you back so slow that it's pretty much useless. You might be able to do email with it, but that's about it. Uh, so I, I use three units. Obviously, I'm uploading a lot of, a lot of uh, data many days. I use prepaid uh, credits or load on my cell phone, and that's primarily for texting at one text or one peso per text. I think calling is about seven or eight pesos per minute, but almost nobody talks to one another here. Everything is done by text. 300 pesos or six U.S. dollars a month. My transportation costs went way up these four months. Uh, I was going places more often, and uh, even though I was still walking quite a bit, I was, uh, I don't know, just uh, using taxis and hobble hobble drivers, the little motorcycle uh, taxis. Uh, they carry an extra helmet and use them quite often. They're oftentimes just a little bit uh, cheaper than a taxi, but a whole lot faster getting through traffic if you arrive. 
I have ridden with three on a motorbike a couple times. Uh, man, it gets cozy. I've never ridden with four people on a pig on a motorbike before. And don't think I want to do it as well. Entertainment expenses will vary greatly by person. And uh, I budget and spend about 1,500 pesos a month or 30 U.S. dollars. I renew my immigration visa every two months at 1920. Uh, per two months, so that's a, about $19.20 per month. I, think. I have not included uh, uh, costs for a trip I try to take on average once a month someplace, short trip, longer trip, whatever. Uh, so they'll keep that in mind in your budget. I have not included uh, gifts or charity, that type of thing. That's very personal and uh, uh, According to the individual, I have not included costs of clothes, although uh, my, my clothes costs are not that big. I don't have a big wardrobe, don't need one. So if I have added correctly, at least I'm close, uh, 48,346 uh, pesos per month average, uh, September, October, November, and December. Uh, would equal at 50 pesos to the U.S. dollar would be 966 U.S. dollars. Uh, I also did not include a couple expenses I still have in the USA, uh, including uh, life insurance, a couple other little bills that I have. Uh, anyway, consider all those things as you budget, uh, and uh, you know, we all live different lifestyles. Uh, anyway, thank you for coming along. Please like, please share the video, uh, subscribe, and uh, safe travels to you all. We'll see you next time.